That's amazing. Okay. The hardest working lady is going to present the hardest working people in hardware. A lot of you know Kelly. Those of you that don't, Kelly is awesome. And not a robot. Oops. So, yes, I'm Kelly. I'm going to be talking about the hardest working people in hardware. Um, and. <laughs> okay. Waiting. Let's wait in complete silence. Okay, my parents have been living in the same house long enough that uh, everything's kind of wearing down and reaching its expiration date. And it's doing it all at the same time because you know how the saying goes, when it rains, a uh, roof leaks. And uh, this whole summer has kind of been this game of can we make it through the week without something breaking? Some things are catastrophic failures and we have to just replace them. And other things we've been able to repair ourselves. So my favorite repair project was we replaced the window screens in the front of my house. And my boyfriend came over and he was like, you know, I've done this before. And his ended up all crooked and uh, mine ended up perfect because my window screen game is tight, son, but not too tight because that's what causes the warping. So when I stay at my parents' house, I usually sleep in the living room because I'm a tiny hobbit person and I can sleep comfortably on a couch. But when you're in the living room, you can hear every noise this house makes. Some of those noises are there on purpose because uh, squeaky doors and floors is a great way to catch your little brother sneaking in after curfew. But some of those other noises are not intentional. And one time I'm sleeping in the living room and I just start having these dreams of waterfalls and rushing rivers and babbling brooks and the urge to urinate immediately upon waking. And I think you can hear it now. Yeah, it sounded like that. And what was happening was our bathtub faucet was leaking. So it's California, we're in the middle of this drought and I'm just seeing that Sesame Street segment where the little boy is leaving the faucet running and the lake is getting lower and lower, lower around fresh, uh, this fish named Frank, so we need to fix this, and it's an easy repair. All you need to do is replace a single O-ring behind the left bathtub handle. So put my hair up in a ponytail, roll up my sleeves, and uh, the first thing we need to do is turn off the water in the house. And I don't know if turning off the water in the house is something that all adults know how to do, or all adults are just pretending they know how to do, like how often to change the oil in your car. <laughs> but in my house, uh, when you want to turn the water off and you want to be thorough, you turn it off at the water heater, then you run around and you turn it off at the intake to the house, and then you turn it off at the meter, and then you go inside and then immediately turn everything back on because someone needs to use the bathroom. Because when everyone in my family is home, it is just too many cooks. It's like... <laughs> Too many people have to pee or take a shower or do laundry, but eventually the planets align and we get the water off and we're trying to remove this uh, left bathtub handle. But there is no tool on earth that will fix this friggin' hex screw. So we find one that almost fits and we're making these really infuriating half turns until finally we just wear it out. So we make hardware store trip number two of like a hundred and uh, we're working on it and we're tugging, we're pulling and eventually we just end up drilling the whole screw out and that's not helping either. And I guess I should mention at this point that while we're doing this that all the lights are out in half my house because you know Murphy's Law, if one thing is broken so is something else. So imagine all of us crammed in the bathroom flashlights, a drill in her hands, trying to get this left handle off the bathtub. And finally, a glimmer of hope. A forum post on DIYforums.net from two years ago that says, unstick the stuck faucet handle by rotating it counterclockwise. No tools needed, not even a lot of force. Winky face, thumbs up. And you know what? It works. Um, I end up <laughs> cracking some of the pieces inside, but at this point, forget this friggin' handle, I'm done with it, we'll just replace it, and we go to the hardware store, and we can't because they don't make this piece anymore. 
So we buy a different one, and in the meantime, we use a vice grip as a temporary handle, and I can't believe that it's taken us a week to replace this $2 O-ring. But finally, we have a working faucet, and there's a lot of heroes in this story. There's Lisa who posted on that forum because this was the only place on the web where we could figure out how to take off this handle. And the other heroes are the people who like, work at my local hardware store because I came there with a bag of crusty calcium uh, broken parts and they knew exactly what I needed. And when I was there another time, I overheard their manager giving the crew a pep talk and they were saying, you know guys, we're not the biggest hardware store, but our customers love us because we're the hardest working people in hardware. And I hope they know it's true because it might be a DIY project, but I couldn't have done it without their help.